Hi guys, it's Jamila here from Slap. Today we're going to be doing a video on a full face of Charlotte Tilbury products. As you guys know, I do have a lot from Charlotte Tilbury and I've been asking you via polls what I should be doing full faces of. Charlotte Tilbury was the first request, so I thought I would do it. It's also the thing I probably have the most of, apart from potentially Pat McGrath. I'm just going to get into it, but if you haven't subscribed already guys, please subscribe. We'd love to have you in the Slap family. And without further ado guys, here is the video. So guys, first up, I'm going to prime my, well, I've actually already primed my face with a different primer, not Charlotte Tilbury. Um, so I'm going to really prime my face with the Hollywood Flawless Filter. This I have in two shades. I've got the shade 6.5, which was the newer shade. And I've also got shade 7, which was the original deeper shade that she had. This was a missing shade that she didn't have in her range and she launched it i think was it last year early last year or the year before and i love it it's very good it's very much my skin tone a lot of people like the charlotte tilbury hollywood flawless filter as a skin tone prep as a foundation as an instead of foundation foundation as a tinted moisturizer it's very glowy it's kind of a skin perfecter with a tint i technically don't need this because i'm about to put on the beautiful skin foundation which is very glowy in my head it's like the proper foundation version of this it's that glowy so i'm going to show you it on this is the 6.5 Whenever I'm using the Hollywood Flawless Filter, I don't blend it out separately. And same with any illuminators I have. I tend to blend them out with the foundation. It just seems a bit more seamless and it's easier and quicker. But on one side, I will blend it out with a sponge just so you can see what it looks like on its own. I'm going to pop on the foundation next. I'm going to use a beautiful skin foundation. I have this in two shades. I have 14N, which is like a rich neutral shade, which actually works really, really well for me in summer. And I have the shade 13W, which is a bit lighter uh, than my skin tone. And I use to kind of lighten up, brighten up the 14 during the year. It's not my favorite foundation. It's not a bad foundation, but it's just a bit too dewy for me. It's just a bit too glowy for me. I need it to be like a little less glowy, just like a little bit more chill. So you can see which one I've used the most of. The 14's almost done, 13 has barely been touched. And I actually can see a difference with this Hollywood Flawless Filter blend blended out, which is quite intriguing. It is doing something, which I didn't think it did on its own. I've just got a blob of 14N and I'm gonna put a tiny bit of 13W. I don't really Really need it but I'm just using it because I've got it So guys, that is the Beautiful Skin Foundation on. Next, I'm gonna put on probably my favorite concealer of the moment, that is the Beautiful Skin Concealer. I also have this in two shades. I have the shade 15 and 13. 13's a bit more golden and light, and 15's a bit more my skin tone. This is the shade 15, Deep. So I'm really, really tempted to show you a powder I haven't used for years. This is the Magic Powder, um, but I can't remember what it's like, so I think I'm gonna save it for a No Buy Fry. I have this in the shade 3 Tan Dark, and it was a really nice a nice product, but I can't remember how heavy it is, and I don't wanna ruin my face, so I'm gonna leave this one. I'm going to use both of my Airbrush Flawless Filter, I think that's what they're called, Airbrush Flawless Finish Powders. This one is the original Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder in number three. And this is the new Airbrush Brightening Flawless Finish Powder in number three, Tan Deep. Uh, this one is more of a yellowy powder. I really, really like it. It sometimes looks better than other times. Sometimes it's incredible. Sometimes it's like, uh, what have I done? Uh, but it's really an amazing powder. This one, as you guys know, I have a love-hate relationship with it. Sometimes I really love it, even though I've hit pan. Uh, sometimes I really like it, sometimes I don't. Um, but I'm going to do one on each side because I think it'll be really helpful to see what they look like on. The 
this one does lift my face um, but it does give a bit of a yellowness to it it does tend to sink in and kind of balance itself out for eyeshadow I've got a couple that I'm intrigued by I've got the copper charge which I very rarely use I don't think I've used it since I bought it pretty much, but it has a really nice coppery shade. The Desert Haze, which I haven't used for a very long time. This was one of my favourite shadows. Uh, it's a really nice kind of everyday palette. And I think the copper is pretty much the same. Well, actually, it's more brownie. I'm going to go in with a bit of the Copper Charge and a bit of the Desert Haze, because I can't decide between them. And they're both nice and different and things I haven't used recently as much as other things. So I'm going to start with the Copper Charge. To go in with the desert haze and I'm going to use these two shades here and one thing I didn't realize I forgot I don't have is liquid eyeliner so I'm going to use a bit of pencil eyeliner and one of my favorites is the Charlotte Tilbury the classic in I think it's dark brown classic brown a really nice black brown eyeliner and it's a really good one in the waterline but it's really good on top as well so I'm just going to do a little bit of it around Uh, next up is cheeks and one of my kind of love to hate it products from Charlotte Tilbury is the cream bronzer I do like it is it doing bronze is it bronzing me I'm not sure but it does work really well in winter and kind of in between seasons when you're not looking to be like too rosy or too bronzy the thing I love about this which I rediscovered yesterday is that it is super super blurring it's really airbrushing and I was I've been using this say bronzer pretty much most of summer until now and I really really like it but it was just kind of not hitting in the way I wanted to like in the last couple of days and I popped this on on top of it or with it and this just blurred my cheeks and I remembered I was like oh yeah this is probably the best thing about it is it's so blurring it really does airbrush your cheeks and I don't even think this is called airbrush which is quite unique for Charlotte Tilbury to have something that's not called airbrush um but it's it is a good product for that alone so I'm gonna pop it on Okay, so I don't have a cream blush from Charlotte Tilbury, but I do have one of my favourite products from Charlotte Tilbury. It is the Pillow Talk Light Wand in the shade 2 Medium, and it's a really nice glowy product. It's very rose gold. This is a classic. You can't go wrong with this black bronzer. It's not the most like new and jazzy and exciting, but it is a really good powder bronzer. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Bronzer, I think. And it's in the shade four, I think. It's in the deep, deepest one, I'm pretty sure. Um, and it's huge. I haven't hit pan. I know one of you guys has hit pan on this, which is very impressive. I haven't just because I just like, I move on to things very quickly. But this is a great bronzer.
before I do my blusher, which I will do, I just feel like my lips are looking very bare. So I'm just gonna do a bit of lip liner. As you guys probably know, it is, there is only lip, one lip liner for me, even though I have a few from Charlotte Tilbury, but there is still only one for me. It is the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Intense. I'm actually a bit more bronzy and brownie than I usually am because of that copper charge. Uh, normally my eyes would be looking a bit more kind of pillow talky, a bit more pinky, maroony, but I quite like this, it's different. For blush, I have quite a few from Charlotte Tilbury. I have Love is the Drug, which is very bright and too bright for today. Pillow Talk Intense, which is one of my favorites. It has made its way back into my main collection because it has just been performing so well for me. New Pillow Talk face palette, which I did slag off in my second impressions, but then watched back an old vlog um, of me trying it as an eyeshadow and blusher and it actually did look really nice but I think maybe I'll use it Since I'm using the face palette, I'm going to keep with the stick with the face palette and I'm going to use this champagne-y pinky one in the bridge on the bridge of my nose So for lips, I have two options that I pulled. I have the Charlotte Tilbury Bitch Perfect Lipstick, one of my favorite light lipsticks that's not a matte. Uh, I have a lot of light lipsticks that I like to use, but they all give that very matte finish. This is the only one I have that really is a bit more creamy, is a bit less like harsh. Uh, also one of my favorite lip glosses, which I don't use as much, but when I first had it, it was my favorite thing. I used it so much. I pretty much finished it in the first like, five months of me having it. It just makes your lips look bigger. It doesn't really plump, them. it does plump them, but not in like a tingly way. It just makes them look bigger and more like plasticky. I know that sounds bad, but it actually looks really cool. So maybe I'll do both. We'll see. I'm gonna pop on Bitch Perfect first, and then maybe if I feel the need to, I'll pop on this lip gloss. That's almost it. I'm going to pop on a bit of this lips lip gloss, because I just love it and it's so nice, and why not just go over the top? And last but not least, I'm going to use the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. I think it's Pillow Talk. Pillow Talk Push Up Lash, which I've actually never used. I've had this tester uh, for a little while and I've been saving it for a rainy day. And this feels like the perfect rainy day. So I'm going to pop it on. So guys, that is it. That's my finished look. That is a full face of Charlotte Tilbury products. Let me know your thoughts and comments down below, guys. Will we be buying anything? Will we be trying anything? What do you already have? What do you already love? What do you like from this that you might want to purchase? Let me know in the comments down below. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked this video. If you haven't subscribed already, guys, please subscribe. We'd love to have you in the slap family. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.